Hello guys, welcome to Movie Buff Nation. I am Raid, and it is, uh, nature out here. It's, uh, the woods. Snow. Actually, this isn't snow. Don't be fooled by the ground, because this is ice, and it's really slippery. But I can't hear myself think in my own house, so I came out here to give you my Oscar predictions and the things, some of the things that I want to win, but I don't know if they are. But anyway, let's get to it. First off, I'm, I'm just going to go with the important ones. Uh, I mean, some of the other important ones. But things like sound mixing or sound editing or and stuff like that I don't really appeal to me. I mean, they, they're not really things I think about whenever I go see a movie. So I'm going to talk about the things that uh, I will notice whenever I go see a movie. The first I would like to mention is Best Visual Effects. Uh, the nominations are The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, Life of Pi, Marvel's The Avengers, Prometheus, Snow White, and The Huntsman. Uh, that shouldn't have been nominated. Uh, and my pick is Life of Pi because that movie really told the, stor uh, told the story through the visuals. And I think that's the way for best visual effects to be handled. Because movies like Avatar and stuff like that, they use it as a backdrop just to uh, get people interested. And this, it's actually is very more emotional. The other one would, uh, the next one would be Best Cinematography. The nominations are Anna Karenina, Django Unchained, Life of Pi, Lincoln, and Skyfall. Uh, this one I'm also going with Life of Pi. Like I said, I don't love this movie. I gave it a three and a half out of five. I'd probably go four now because I think it's a movie that, um, uh, emotionally and, uh, it's it's pretty rewarding after thinking about it a lot. Um, I say Life of Pi just because it's a beautiful, gorgeous movie. But there's one movie that I would like to win more, and I think has the best cinematography, and that it would be Skyfall. I think Skyfall has the best cinematography, but these are also predictions, and I want to predict the Oscars as best I can. Uh, the next one would be best original score. Uh, there's Anna Karenina, Argo, Life of Pi, Lincoln, and Skyfall. I'm going to say Life of Pi wins it again, I know. Uh, it's because it has so many uh, different musical instruments involved. It's very, it puts you right in the time. I do like, I think Skyfall is my favorite score of 2012. Well, it's not my favorite score, but my favorite scores weren't nominated. Uh, but this was, uh, Skyfall had just an amazing score. It really put me right there in the action. It sucked me in. If anything in that movie didn't suck me in as much as the... Um, nothing sucked me in as much as the music in that movie. And it was really just phenomenal. It's it was great. Uh, but, like I said, I think Life of Pi is going to take that one. Uh, uh, best original song. This one doesn't really matter as much to me, but I think Skyfall is going to take that from Adele. Uh, Best costume design, I would say Les Miserables. Uh, great costumes. I don't think the movie's that great. I don't. I think it's kind of just an okay movie, you know. Uh, but there's that. Uh, best adapted screenplay. I don't really think about this a whole lot, but I'd like to mention it. I'd go with Argo. The nominations for that. Oh, I haven't been uh, listing all of those. Uh, but it would be Argo, Beast of the Southern Wild, Life of Pi, Lincoln, Silver Lang's Playbook. I would say Argo because. It's one of my favorite movies of 2012, and there's that. Uh, best original screenplay, uh, the nominations are Amor, Django Unchained, Flight, Moonrise Kingdom, and Zero Dark Thirty. I would say Django Unchained because the writing in that movie is just outstanding. So, what, some of the best writing I've ever seen, and it's just incredible. Um, hilarious, and you catch my drift. I also think Zero Dark Thirty could win, uh, and, I, and I would be more than happy at that one, because it's my second favorite movie of 2012. Uh, best foreign film, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna list the nomination, I would say Amor, obviously. Uh, best animated feature, Brave, Frank and Weenie, Paranormal, Pirates, Band of Misfits, which I did like, uh, and kind of underrated actually, or go unnoticed. And Rocket Ralph, I would say Rocket Ralph, because I think it's, it's the funniest, it's so, it's, it's hilarious, for the most part. Uh, best Supporting Actress, uh, Amy Adams for The Master, Sally Field, Lincoln, Anne Hathaway, Lady Miss Rob, Helen Hunt, The Sessions, Jackie Weaver, Silver Linings Playbook. I guess I'd have to say Anne Hathaway, but I don't, I didn't think she was in it for enough to be worth getting nominated, 
but I like it better than the other uh, names I just listed. I haven't seen the Masters, so I wouldn't know about that. Or uh, the Sessions. Oh. Best Supporting Actor, Alan Arkin for Argo, Robert De Niro for Silver Lines Playbook, Philip Seymour Hoffman for The Master, Tommy Lee Jones for Lincoln, Christoph Waltz for Jingo Unchained, and I'd have to go with Christoph Waltz because he really just, he was my favorite part about that movie, and he, he just, he's so amazing, uh, unbelievable. He's such a great character actor. Uh, Best Actress, uh, Jessica Chastain for Zero Dark Thirty, Jennifer Lawrence for Silver Lines Playbook, Emmanuel Riva uh, Amor, Quivanzane Wallace, Beast of the Southern Wild, Naomi Watts, The Impossible. Most of those I haven't seen. Actually, no, all of those I've seen except for Amor and The Impossible. Uh, Jessica Chastain for Zero Dark Thirty because she knocked it out of the park. She she carried that movie along with Catherine Bigelow and it's a shame that Catherine Bigelow didn't get nominated for Best Director, but that's another video for another time. Best Director, I mean Best Actor. Bradley Cooper for Silver Linings Playbook, Daniel Day-Lewis for Lincoln, Hugh Jackman for Lame as Rob, Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix for The Master, Denzel Washington for Flight, and I'd have to say Daniel Day-Lewis for Lincoln. Best Direct, obviously, uh, um, so obvious, whoever thinks otherwise is blind, is a bat. Uh, Best Director, Michael Haneke for Amor, Ben Zaitlin. Uh, Beast of the Southern Wild, Ang Lee, Life of Pi, Steven Spielberg, Lincoln, David O. Russell, Silver Linings Playbook. And I'd have to say David O. Russell for Silver Linings Playbook because he nailed, he totally nailed it with a bipolar, and I think that's worth some credit. I also think Steven Spielberg and Ang Lee also have a chance. Ang Lee would be my second choice because he filmed an impossible book. I mean, seriously. Fantastic job. Best Picture. Amor, Argo, Beast of the Southern Wild, Jingo Unchained, Lame as Rob, Life of Pi, Lincoln, Silver Lines Playbook, and Zero Dark Thirty. I'd say Argo. Uh, I like Zero Dark Thirty and Jingo Unchained more. However, I think Argo has more of a shot. And I think Lincoln also has a, a good shot. And the only reason I'm skeptical with my choice of Argo is because Ben Affleck didn't get direct uh, nominated for Best Director. And it's only happened once in the history of, film, uh, of the Oscars that a Best Picture movie has won without it being directed, been nominated for Best Director, if that makes sense. So, there are my picks. If you agree, if you disagree, comment down below. Just let me know uh, what you think. And until next time, adios.